Hello friends, for the survival of a virus, it is very essential to produce something to defend from outside environment. A virus is producing so many different types of the proteins and these proteins are helpful for the survival of virus. Now let me know about different type of the proteins that are produced by the virus. Here I am writing some different type of the proteins so let me know about one by one. First is the structural protein. The structural protein of a virus is generally capsid, envelope and core. So these protein are responsible for making some structure to a virus. Second is the virion associated enzymes. Some enzymes they are responsible for transcription, translation. So the enzyme which is responsible for the transcription that is called as transcriptase. And the transcriptase enzyme generally used for transcription from mRNA, negative sense mRNA to positive sense mRNA for the conversion of negative sense mRNA to the positive sense mRNA. But it is not recommended in case of positive sense RNA viruses and the viruses that are found uh, that replicate in the nucleus because the positive sense RNA viruses they generally don't have any need uh, of the transcriptase and in case of the uh, viruses that are usually replicate in the nucleus they are generally use uh, the uh, cellular transcriptase the next is non-structural proteins the pro uh, especially the enzymes that are uh, responsible for the replication cleavage of the protein and enzyme for the transcription now next one is the regulatory protein that control the temporal sequence of expression of viral genome so this protein generally bind to the enhancer and they are responsible for triggering transcription translation next is the proteins that down regulating the expression of viral gene by inhibiting transcription and translation so these protein are responsible for stopping for diminishing the transcription and translation when the transcription and translation completed next proteins are the oncogene products they are also called as oncoproteins and activators of the cell tumor suppressor proteins so these are the proteins are basically responsible for tumor production in the body of the host these proteins are responsible either producing oncogene uh, or either they suppress the activation of uh, the cellular tumor proteins so generally these proteins are responsible for producing oncogene for example the viruses that are responsible for transformation of a cell into a cell to a tumor the virus are herpes virus adenovirus papillomavirus and retroviruses next proteins are that which are influencing viral virulence host range and tissue tropism so the protein that is also essential for the host range for the tissue tropism a virus is producing this type of proteins and uh, they are responsible for the survival in case of pox virus herpes virus and in case of adenovirus they have very broad host range and this broad host range is just because of production of proteins next is the virokines which act on the non infected cell to modulate the progress of infection in the body as a whole so the virokines generally uh, homologous to the cytokines and uh, by the positive feedback the cytokines getting depressed or suppressed by the virokines and because of the virokines 
the uh, body immune system is not evoke uh, the body immune system also uh, depressed uh, with the help of these proteins so the body immune system or the body immune response is subverting because of inhibiting cytokines then down regulating msc expression then blocking the complement cascade so these are the basic uh, need for a host cell to evoke immune response and uh, this immune response is to be getting suppressed by this virus by producing virokines so friends these are all about the proteins that is produced by a virus hope you will enjoy my lectures and please subscribe my youtube channel for more videos thanks